So here we have a shot of Justine that is keyed out against this grading background. We can see what it looks like without the key applied. She was shot against the green screen. Let's see how we can use a particle system to add a little more splash to this shot. First of all, I'll move the playhead back home and I'll turn off the video clip so we can focus on the particles. In the library, I'm gonna to go to the content folder and then to the particle images folder. This folder contains many images and movies with transparency that make great sources for particle systems. I want something that looks like a spark. So in the search field, I'll type spark and I'll choose this one called spark 12. I'm gonna add it to my group between the video clip and the gradient. So it's above the gradient, but below Justine. Now to make particles, all I need to do is click this make particles button. And if I play, we get a bunch of particles, but they don't look too interesting. So let's move the playhead back home. Let's go to the inspector, to the emitter tab and make a few changes. Now, first they're all coming from one point in the center. Instead, I'm gonna choose image. And for the image that these particles come from, I'm gonna use this clip of Justine with transparency because of the key. I'll choose a random fill and then down in the cell controls for the initial number, I'm gonna set this to about 9,000 for a lot of particles. And we see we get an outline of Justine. Now I'm gonna make a few more changes to the cell controls. I'm gonna set the birth rate to zero because we don't need any more particles. I'll set the life to about two seconds and the life randomness to about 0.3 so we get a little variation and all the particles don't disappear at the same time. I'll set the speed to about 150 to speed them up a little bit. Then for the color mode, I'm gonna choose over life. So each particle changes color over its life. I'll open the gradient editor and right click these tags to change them. So we start out with a nice bright yellow and end up with a nice dark blue. Now they look pretty heavy. So I'm gonna click the additive blend checkbox, which blends each of the particles with each other in the additive blend mode. Now it affects the particles, but it doesn't affect them versus the background. So we still have these dark spikes. So what I'm gonna do is go to the properties inspector for the emitter and then change the blend mode for the overall emitter to add, which will add it to the background. Back in the emitter inspector, I'll scroll to the bottom and change the scale of all the particles to 50% and then give them some scale randomness, also maybe 50. So we get a variation in different particle sizes. Now I'll turn a video clip back on. I'll move the emitter down a little bit in the timeline so they don't come on right away. And let's play that back. And maybe a little bit further. To get better playback performance, I'll click below the layers list to deselect everything. And there we have your very first particle system. Click the subscribe button below. If you have an idea, comment, or suggestion, leave those below as well. Go to rippletraining.com for fast professional training on Final Cut Pro, Motion, and DaVinci Resolve from industry professionals.